For this week's lesson, we're going to be making a self-portrait. And I'm going to start off with a pencil just by sketching sort of myself. I'm using simple shapes like an oval for the head. I want to put nice big sunglasses in there because one of the things that I'm going to want you to capture in your self-portrait is I want you to put glasses or sunglasses that show a reflection of where you'd like to be, a nice, calm, peaceful place, whatever that might mean to you, whether it is a, land, a beachy landscape or a nice cityscape, just show some place you'd like to go, some place that you think would be a nice, um, a nice place to go, travels you'd like to go on, uh, wherever you want to be. Now, after I've drawn it in pencil, I am outlining Sharpie. And one optional step is you could think about incorporating Zen tangles, which are sort of doodles and patterns that are very free, free flowing. A lot of people find it very sort of calming and soothing to just come up with these unique organic patterns, filling in spaces with different lines and shapes and designs. Um, just whatever sort of pops into your head at the moment. So I'm using a variety of lines and dots just to form different um, shapes inside of the hair in my self-portrait, which again adds another element, a little bit of, of pattern in there, and it makes my hair stand out from other areas that haven't been colored. I'm going to, as I said, draw a landscape, a peaceful landscape, reflected in these sunglasses to show a nice sort of calming or soothing place or a place I think would be nice to be. And after I have drawn those details, I'm going to start coloring. In this case, I'm using crayons, but of course, while we're in remote learning, you have your choice of media, whether you want to use markers, crayons, colored pencils, paint, anything you have available to you is fine. Now, some people might actually stop at this stage, um, leaving just the color inside the reflection um, as a point of contrast. I, of course, really like to keep going and add more and more constantly. So I'm adding patterns in the background and I am painting a variety of patterns. When I say patterns, a lot of times people start off just thinking of either stripes or polka dots, but you can have variety of things. A pattern is a repetition of similar things. So I might have concentric circles, I might have zigzag stripes, I might have spirals that are repeating, I might have wavy lines that are repeating, I might have a repetition of shapes or shapes inside of shapes, sort of triangular designs. Any kind of patterns you would like might look nice in the background. And then after I had, after I had drawn all of that, it sort of felt like the, the shirt and my skin were just kind of underwhelming compared to everything else. And so I think about that idea of unity. I want to make sure that that all my elements are tied together. So I added more Zen tangles filling in my design on the shirt to sort of act as a counterweight balancing out the Zen tangles in the hair, repeating that same style and that same approach in different parts of my paper. And then leaving the skin pure white just didn't seem to work very well. So I lightly colored in with the crayon, leaving it very pale so that it wouldn't overwhelm the other areas. But I wanted to make sure that it is colored so it feels complete in relation to everything else in my design. Of course, you have a lot of flexibility in yours. You don't have to add the Zen tangles. Um, you could have it look more like realistic hair, just coloring it whatever color your hair is. But I do want to see a self-portrait, and I do want to see in there a reflection of a place that you love or a place that you would love to go to.